Today we have got the Santa Hogvider challenge inside Clash Royale. This challenge goes up to 8 wins and at 8 wins you get a special emote. On top of that we do have a Clashmas deals which we are going to definitely buy. So yo I really hope you guys enjoy. If you do leave a like, leaving a like really helps out the channel and it lets me know you guys enjoyed the content. Also if you could subscribe that would be amazing, it really supports me. So first we're going to start with the Clashmas deals. The one we're going to look at the most though is this clan Clashmas special. When when you buy this you guys can see you get clan gifts and what this is going to do is going to give my clan mates 20 gems your purchase was successful and this is what it looks like for anyone wondering so obviously we get some gems and then in the clan ufo sent a gift to your clan and now whenever my clan mates log on they are going to get 20 gems for free it's pretty awesome anytime a clan deal comes in the shop i'm going to definitely buy it for my clan because my clan is my subscribers so it's just giving back to you guys the best i can and you guys can see adb logged on and said cheers because he got the free gems and like i said you guys leaving like subscribing all that good stuff allows me to do that and give back so i try to whenever i can anyway let's hop into the santa hog rider challenge the santa hog rider is a new super troop in the game you have to make a deck using the Santa Hog Rider and we are using 2.6 but obviously using the Santa Hog Rider instead of a normal Hog Rider. I've had no problem with this deck so far just winning every single game no problem and we're going to hopefully get this emo undefeated. Okay into a game and first play we are going to go with a Santa Hog Rider. You guys can see Santa Hog Rider runs towards him dropping presents behind we are going to play a cannon to stop his Santa Hog Rider and that's a-okay. We are just going to play a musketeer and an ice spirit to stop Stop this skarmy and the best thing about this deck is the extremely fast cycle you guys can see i'm one card away from that santa hog rider again and because it is a super troop a lot of the time you do just want to spam it anyway going to kite this mighty miner over obviously making sure he doesn't do too much damage and then we will go with a santa hog rider and then we're going to play skeletons behind the skeletons behind is going to pick up the presence and get some random effects going which really helps out because we just got the invisibility we now got the rage and you guys can see that mega knight ran away from my hog rider my hog rider got invisibility again and oh my the amount of damage we just got just like that this game got completely turned around and it is 100% in my favor there are some crazy powerful effects like that invisibility that can just win you games we are going to play another santa hog rider here just pull away that mighty miner. Also forced out a cannon, that's fine. And then we will play one elixir skeletons in the middle. Just making sure that mighty miner doesn't do anything. We are going to log away that goblin bow. And again, the great thing about this deck, the extremely fast cycle, you can always cycle back round to a super hog rider. Going to play an ice golem here and then super hog rider. He goes inferno dragon, that's not really good enough because the hog rider will get a hit on the tower and take the tower. Obviously playing a musketeer for this inferno dragon. Going to set up a cannon as well, go with an ice spirit here and then ice golem. Oh, that's a clone effect. Okay, so we will have to log now. Obviously just trying to stop everything from destroying me. There was an invisible Inferno Dragon. That was scary, but we do defend. Going to play one Elixir Skeletons up high here. Going to play a cannon for this Hog Rider. And we will, of course, log away that Goblin Bow. Very good defense. We are going to say good game. And you guys can see how crazy this game mode is. I love it. It's a lot of fun. And I love this Far Cycle deck. Anyway, a very easy win. And this is definitely one of the best decks to use. And just like that, we are now 6 and 0. A super easy challenge. Like I said, this deck has a lot of outplay potential. Anyway, first play here, we are going to go with a Super Hog Rider and then follow that up with the Ice Spirit. The Ice Spirit is going to collect the presence and that's what we are going for. Double Ice Spirit on that Mini Pekka. We obviously defend his Hog Rider very easily and we will just play Skeletons in the middle here for this Mini Pekka. We take no damage. We did damage to him. That's a good trade. Next, I am going to play an Ice Golem and then we are going to once again Santa Hog Rider and then follow that up once again with an Ice Spirit. Ice Golem's tanking. Obviously, the Hog Rider's on his tower. We get the clone effect. Clone spawns an extra present. We get the invisibility and that is going to be a lot of damage we are going to fireball here nice he didn't activate the ability we are going to cannon up high and really just ignore that monk obviously we are taking out the super hog rider that is a priority and that's awesome good defense we take his entire tower royal hogs as well okay we are going to uh, log and musketeer was not expecting the royal hogs but that's fine very easy win seven and zero can we go undefeated that's the real question he goes skeleton king so once again we will just play a cannon also goes hog rider that's fine 
fine. We are going to log here just to be safe rather than sorry. He got the invisibility. Oh no, that's the worst one for me to get. And I think that's going to be my entire tower taken. Yep. One good hog rider. Ooh, it takes. This is a lot of stuff on my king tower and he won. The effects that guy just got to win the game is unbelievable. At the end, he used the skeleton king ability, then he got double cloned from the present. So it just cloned all the skeletons. That is actually ridiculous. Well, not undefeated, but that's fine. We are going to start with a Santa hog rider and then once again, ice spirit. That combo just always works. Got the invis that time, not the best, but we do defend very easily here with a musketeer and an ice golem. Musketeer, ice golem pretty much can defend anything. We are going to cannon in the center here for this hog rider. Going to also log as well just to help out. And invisible bats. Going to play one elixir the skeletons and that is a very easy defense. Was not expecting a royal giant. Why does everyone have a weird deck? Anyway, we take out the royal giant. I still can't believe I lost that last game, by the way. Sorry, I'm thinking about it more and more. The amount of luck that guy just got is unbelievable. Like, he should buy a lottery ticket. Anyway, going to distract this Mega Knight even more. And I need to focus more on this game than that last game. Anyway, we are going to hog right here and then fireball away that cannon. Boom. Very easy. Hog rider on the tower. We're going to also log to help take out these goblins. We get the invisibility. So lucky. Invisibility again. Oh my, I should buy a lottery ticket. Okay, game, you are forgiven. Very easy defense on this Nightwish. And there we go. We did end up winning because I got extremely lucky. But we are 8 and 1. We get this Santa Hog Rider emote. If you guys want a closer look at the emote, here it is. I like it, it's pretty awesome. But yo, that's going to wrap it up for today. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. Of course, subscribe if you have not already. And as always, make sure you guys take care, brush your hair, and peace out. Woo!